I want to read a small letter that I've uh, sent out to some different people. I'm contacting you because I'm in dire straits and in need of financial assistance. In November of 1999, I left a religious group. For lack of a better word, I will describe it as a cult. I had to leave behind my wife, an 8-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 17-year-old son, and a 19-year-old daughter. I have a 24-year-old son in the Air Force and a 22-year-old son who are both out of the cult. The 24-year-old does not want to speak of his experiences or have anything to do with, with my family. To get his perspective on the damage to human life that the leader of this cult has done, I will give a few numbers. Since 1975, over 350 people have joined or been born into this group. To the best of my knowledge, 187 of these people have left. Nobody leaves this group without being labeled a traitor and a Judas. Along with that, all are damned to hell, cursed in this life with prediction of disease, bad fortune, and other calamities. I am in touch with 57 of these ex-members. All are crippled mentally, spiritually, and some even physically by what they went through. There will be lifelong trauma for all of us. We are the survivors. Some examples of abuses that were solitary confinement in barrels, whippings, shocking with a cattle prod, beatings with boards, mental and physical cruelty to children and adults, alienation of affection and obstruction of family relationships. There is deprivation of food, sleep, bathroom privileges, medicine, home, education, and money. We gave up much of our incomes, our own personalities, and some were told to carry guns to protect Rama. Nine people didn't make it. They died as infants with no medical care or as adults who died in head-on car crashes after working themselves into the ground and going on about four hours of sleep or less for years. Some died from illnesses with no medical or medicine or comfort because they were paying for their sins. A few even went crazy and walked around talking incoherently for months. As hard as it is to believe, I dedicated my life to this group for 24 years. My wife and I joined in January of 1975. I was 24 and my wife was 22. I had a teaching degree in industrial arts and I had received recognition for my achievements as a promoter of geodesic domes. I was in the process of starting my own dome company and was also working as shop foreman and furniture designer for a custom furniture making shop. I was intending to live a life expressing myself through my creativity. By a chance invitation from a friend to hear a man talk about the future, we came upon this group. What initially looked very inviting and truthful, steadily took over our lives and controlled us. Over time, Rama destroyed my marital relationship with my wife and tried to turn my children against me. This was what he did with every family to get better control over every person. The mind control that we were under gripped the very core of our consciousness and permeated every aspect of our lives. We could do nothing without involving Brother. Brother, the leader of this group, was a converted Hindu from India named Rama Behera. A few years ago, he changed his name to Dr. R. C. Samantha Roy. I believe he did this to escape the bad stigma that had developed around his name and to re reinvent himself as a humanitarian. I have no idea how he got his doctor status because he had not completed any degree work that I know of. The compound where Rama resides is located at Shawano, Wisconsin, about 34 miles west of Green Bay on Highway 29. <clears throat> During this past year and a half I have, that I have been out, I've been calling and meeting with as many ex-members from this group as I can find. These people left under horrible circumstances, just as mine were. Some left alone, some left as families, all left as, as destroyed people who had to start their life over, feeling cursed and damned to hell by Rama, rejected by family, alienated from society, and financially ruined. I have gathered these people into a network of wounded souls who are cheering me on but are, but are not able to do much else. Around 154 people are still in there, many of them young children. A small group of us are trying to stop Rama so he will lose control over these people's lives. Some moral support is coming from the other ex-members. We have a major problem though, everything costs some money. Lawrence Levy, a nationally renowned attorney who has won cases against cult leaders, has agreed to work with us on this case. 
I started out with a local attorney and psychologist. I found out that even though these men were competent in their fields, they had no experience with cults and the mind control issues we had to live through. It is imperative that we hire experts in the cult field to take this case. We have contacted as many cult experts around the country as we can find, and they are all very supportive of our cause. Through some of these experts, I obtained the names of Lawrence Levy and Paul Martin, a cult expert and Ph.D. psychologist in Albany, Ohio. I sent my story to Dr. Martin. He said this is one of the worst cases he has ever heard of. Mr. Levy and Dr. Martin do not come without a price, nor do the printing costs, mailing expenses, phone calls, time taken away from our jobs, and travel expenses. I am involved with my own case, but I need help. We see that my case is a springboard to stop Rama. We have already invested thousands of dollars in attorney and psycho psychologist costs, phone calls, travel expenses, and printing costs. I have maxed out my credit cards and have no savings to go on. I know there will be many more expenses. We cannot stop, though. With the right team of attorneys and proper funds, we can stop Rama. You will not only help our cause, but you will help save many innocent children from suffering a daily hell of abuse and neglect beyond belief. So far, I have been able to come up with the money that has been needed through my own income, my credit cards, loans, and some donation from ex-members. This case is far bigger than I or even the ex-members can absorb. So it is necessary to send out an appeal for help. I have a dedication to pay back any donations by doing carpentry or cabinet work for people, which is my occupation. For now, I must dedicate all my energy to this cause. I only hope that you can understand our cause and find it in your hearts to help. I must share a point of concern. It is imperative that our work be hidden from Rama or his followers. There is the potential of life-threatening consequences if he finds out he is being exposed. The fear is real that this could turn into another Waco or Jonestown if not properly handled. If you would like to know more details, you can supply us. we can supply you with our stories. If I can be of further help, call me at 612-483-6682 or 503-805-4801. Galen Preby.